on, sailor. You want some too? What's on? I don't know. again. <laughs> and uh, may I ask you a question? Is your uh, name really Bob? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, okay, Mama, we should probably head out. Oh, all righty then. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, uh, you're coming with me, remember, for the weekend, for Thanksgiving. Oh, no thank you, Janice. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> oh, but... But Denise and Brian have driven all the way down from Vancouver with the kids. Oh, they that's got... nice. But you have to come. They're so excited. I'm Shh. Here you go, Maxine. You're all set. That's nice. Maxine, why don't you? No. But the kids are so excited to see you. I mean, they haven't seen you in years. Shh. Shh. We're trying to watch the program. See, see that guy? I used to bowl with him. Oh. <laughs> Maxine, <laughs> let's. Okay. She doesn't want to come. She doesn't have to. I'm making your green bean casserole. You know the one with the program. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna head out now, Mama. Bye bye. I just don't get why she doesn't want to come with. <coughs> Ask her again in a few minutes. I'm sure she'll change her mind. I feel like that's all she does anymore. Pretty much. But you know what? I'm just happy that she's happy. Hell, I'm overjoyed. She hasn't taken a swing at me in weeks. Yeah, she's really calmed down. And I think it's all because of Bob. <laughs> Bob? It's her new friend. <laughs> you mean Joe. <laughs> she always introduced him to me as Bob. That was my father's name. 
I figured it had to be something like that. But yeah, they really seem to have taken to each other. They sit together at meals, they watch TV together. Sometimes they even see them holding hands. It's really cute. Um, I think you're mistaken. My mother is the all-time <coughs> greatest man-hater. Really? Oh, yeah. My dad soured her on all men. She hated every single one of my boyfriends, especially Steve. <laughs> Steve. My husband, ex-husband. Where'd they go? I don't know. If I drive all the way back to Grand Ledge without her, my sister is going to kill me. Okay, just give her one last chance to change her mind. She couldn't have gone far. I'll go look for her, okay?
mean, I haven't even been born yet, but... No, I, I understand. My mother, in her mind, she's... Oh, um... Was your father in the Navy? Uh, was my dad in the Navy? <coughs> yeah, why do you ask? <laughs> um, what's his name again? Oh, um, Joe Valenti. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. What? He is Bob Valenti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's old Bob. What? He's my mom's boyfriend. Oh my god, no wonder they're taking so long. She probably had to throw a bucket of cold water on them. Oh. What are you talking oh. about? responsible for. Believe me, they can be very ingenious. When oh, oh, so now you're blaming it on the patients. No, of course Well, your no. bosses in Grand Rapids will be hearing from me. You can count on that. But I Is my father's suitcase packed? But I... Is my father's suitcase packed? I'll go get it. Oh, oh. You call that a dip? I'll show you a dip. Oh. I don't understand. What's going on? Why are you so upset? What do you mean? Look, uh, I don't know if it's abuse, but it's definitely neglect. And I think we've got extremely valid grounds for a lawsuit here. A lawsuit? What are you talking about? What? We're supposed to be getting 24-hour care. <clears throat> That's what they advertise. And, I mean, we sure as hell pay for it. And allowing something like that to happen I still don't is... understand what the problem is. Look, I know you find your mother's sex life very titillating. I but do that doesn't not. excuse this place for allowing that to happen right under their nose. They are not prisoners here. They're adults. Extreme adults. Wait, They're that's sick the adults. Consent. They have a disease. They're not in their right mind. So? What do you mean, so? So look how happy they are. I take it back. You're much dreamier than Dane Clark. <laughs> Ever heard of a lip lock? Why don't you tell me about it, handsome? It goes a little something like this. Dad. <laughs> Stop it. Dad! What have you got against love? They're not in love. They don't even know each other. How could they be in love? They think they're in love. They think. They, they think. What's the difference between being in love and thinking you're in love? You know What's what? Love? I'm not getting into mind this anyway. with you. Why can't you let your dad be happy? Because that is not my dad. What? No. The dad that I know would never behave like that, ever. And he'd hate me for allowing him to act that way. But why? 
We're Catholic, for Christ's sake. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You don't know anything about it. My father is a deeply religious and moral man. If he had any idea, the vows, the sacraments, he was oh, breaking thought, just by touching her. I thought you said that your mother was dead. Yes, she is. So, <coughs> till death do us part. Their love was deeper than that. Oh, come on! You know what? You don't know anything about it, okay? She's been gone for almost 20 years. And in all that time, he hasn't stopped feeling the pain. He doesn't even want to stop feeling the pain. He doesn't look like he's in too much pain right now. Mmm, you smell like fresh-made cornbread, you know that? <laughs> Drizzled with hot melted butter and raspberry jam. <laughs> Dad. Dad. What is your problem? I have a responsibility to him. To what? To keep him from disgracing himself. Disgracing himself to who? To you? That is about the most selfish thing that I've ever heard. You know heard. what? You wouldn't understand in a million years. You're right. I don't I understand. I am getting him out of here. You know, I, I think you should really look into some therapy. Where do you think she is with that suitcase anyway? You know, I could give you some names. Oh, I'm sure you could. Uh, here oh, you go. Oh, thank I'll you. I'll be back later next week for the rest of this thing. Okay. Come on, Dad. We're leaving. Joe, Oh, I think I can handle him myself. Thank you. Come on, Dad, let's go. You mind? I'm next to my wife here. She's not your wife. Oh, I get it. A fly boy. No, Dad, I'm not a fly boy. Listen, fly boy, this girl's taken. Get your own. Would you mind? Mind what? Taking charge of your mother? Hell no. Bob, who is that man? Dad. Thinks I owe money or something. <laughs> Dad. Well, get rid of him, won't you? Shoot. Listen, flyboy. All right, I'm not a flyboy. I'm your son. All right, I'm your son, Greg Valenti. Remember, I have a son. His, his name's Robert, and you're not him. Jesus Christ. Hey, watch that go, Mel. There's a lady there. And who is that lady, Dad? Who is she? She's my wife, flyboy, so don't get any ideas. Now, Bob, don't fight. Dad, did you hear what she just called me?